It wasn't my turn to pay the electric bill, was it? Let's play a game. You have to try and find me. <laughs> oh, hi there. Cricket's the name. <laughs> Jiminy Cricket. Have you ever heard of Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs? Peter Pan, Dumbo, or Alice in Wonderland? They're all in this book. Would you like me to read you a story? Uh, <clears throat> I kind of need some help. <clears throat> On a dark and rainy night a long, long time ago, in a kingdom far, far away, in a quaint little cottage, deep within a beautiful enchanted forest, there lived a... <sighs> Oh, uh, <laughs> pardon me. It's just that I've been reading these stories for so many years that... Say, I have an idea. I'll take out each of the happy ending pages, then you can guess which story to put them back into. <laughs> sort of like a game. In the happy ending to Peter Pan, Captain Hook is chased off by Tick Tock the Crocodile. Peter lives on as feisty as ever, and he never ever has to grow up. In the happy ending to Peter Pan, Captain Hook is chased off by Tick Tock the Crocodile. Peter lives on as feisty as ever, and he never ever has to grow up. In this happy ending, Alice travels to Wonderland, but makes it back home and without losing her head. In the happy ending to Dumbo, Dumbo the Flying Elephant is finally reunited with his mother, Mrs. Jumbo. Ah, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Now there's a happy ending for you. Snow White and the Prince live happily ever after. better put this one on the shelf. At least until someone can shed a little light on this situation. Well, as I live and breathe, the Blue Fairy. Sir Jiminy, you are an official conscience entrusted with the duty of helping others choose between right and wrong. Did you do something wrong tonight? No! Well, I mean, I did tear out these pages, but I was just trying to... I, I mean, it's, it's just a book. Jiminy, once a story is read, it becomes alive in the imagination of the person who heard the story. By removing the happy endings, the heroes were left in peril, and the villains put in control. Huh. Some conscience I turned out to be. My friend and I will put the pages back. No, no. The villains have already started to change the stories. You are going to have to travel into the stories to fix them. We can do that, milady. Uh, I hope. Uh, 
Hello there. Oh. Hello. I'm out, and you're out too. No, I'm not. My name is In. How could you forget that? I live right next door oh, to you. Don't start. I meant our new guests here are out, and you probably want to go in. Inside the stories, that is. Now, why would you want to do that? Haven't you heard? All of the villains have taken over? Well, perhaps our guests can help. What do you mean? Help the villains? No, no. Helping the villains would be wrong. Our guests must do what's right and help the storybook heroes. Oh, yeah. But before we let you enter, we must make sure that you know what the heroes look like. Okay, let's all look for Pinocchio. When you find him, point to where he is. Excellent! There's Pinocchio. Now for something a bit more difficult. Let's find TikTok from the story of Peter Pan. Don't forget, now we're looking for TikTok. There he is. Hey, TikTok, you're late on the rent again. Now let's look for Peter. Here's Peter Pan now. Hi, Pete. Now it's time to search for Jiminy Cricket. Hey, I'm right here. There's Jiminy. I say, that was like trying to find a needle in a haystack. Actually, it was more like trying to find a carved cricket on a wood door, if you want to be precise. Yes. Well, next we have to find Alice from Alice in Wonderland. Hello, Alice. Now we must search for another fair maiden by the name of Snow White. Mirror, mirror on the wall, who's the fairest of them all? There she is. It's Snow White. Now it's time for you to find Dopey. That's Dopey. There you go again, making fun of our talented guest. Now it's time to find Little Tinkerbell. We're still trying to find Tinkerbell. <laughs> Cute. There you are, Tinkerbell. You're the light of my life. Now, here's a tricky one. You have to try to find the Cheshire Cat. There's the Cheshire Cat. Now we have to look for Grumpy from Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. If you thought Grumpy was Grumpy before, you should see him now that he's been written out of the story. There's Grumpy. Ooh, he doesn't look happy. You just need to find a few more of our friends, and then you'll be ready to enter the stories. Let's look for Sleepy. Maybe we should leave Sleep. There's Sleepy! Well, what do you know? He's sleeping. There's a big surprise. Now we have to find the White Rabbit, because he's late. There's the White Rabbit! Good! Now let's look for Dumbo. There's Dumbo! Now you have to find Doc. Hey! What's up, Doc? <laughs> Try to remember who we work for. Our guest has just proven that they know what all of the storybook heroes look like, and they're ready to enter. We'll swing open and let you go in. But I don't want to go. I meant them! Ooh, well, somebody woke up on the wrong side of the door today.